a second and talk about um, kind of unique challenges that patients with spina bifida might have in bowel management. Um, it seems like compared to anorectal malformations patients or Hirschsprung's patients, uh, sometimes just the anatomy and the low sphincter tone of the um, may, may make it more difficult for um, the balloon to kind of stay in place. And Yes, that's a um, good point. So, and it brings up so a little bit more show and tell as well. Um, so our traditional enema set um, is a 24 French Foley catheter that does have a balloon as Dr. Garrison was mentioning. And um, what, what we do is because a patient specifically with spina bifida and anorectal malformation, they often don't have the muscle tone to be able to hold in a large enema solution. So once we get the catheter in the rectum, we will blow up the balloon, which then creates um, a plug so that when the enema solution is coming out the end, going into the bowel, you use this plug to help keep the solution in the body um, because we know that the muscles and, and things like that are not able to, to hold it. So this balloon will help create that seal so the enema stays in the bowel. Now, sometimes with spina bifida, even the muscle tone is too loose to even hold this enema. So we do have um, other products that we can use. We have a different type of tube that has a larger balloon on it. Um, I know there are families out there that are using cone enema sets, so I have seen patients that will use a cone enema set as well um, to do that. And then we also have um, another product that some families use, which in this kind of gets also talking about independence, is um, the Peristeam product. Um, and that also has two different size catheters. Um, one is the size, the length for pediatric, and one is the length for an adult. Um, but this also has a much, much larger balloon that um, sometimes we'll use this Peristeam enema product um, to gain independence as well as have some advantage of a larger balloon. But it definitely can be challenging um, on some patients with the muscle tone. But we do have a couple different options of trying some tricks of the trade um, to see if we can get the enema solution to be retained. Because the bottom line is if the enema solution is not in the bowel, then we haven't really given an enema to help clean you out.